Alex. How are you doing today? I'm very good. Thanks for having me. Glad to hear that. So could you start off by giving us a quick introduction of your company? Yes, Asincourt Energy is uh, in the alternative energy space. We're an exploration stage company. We have a large project in the Athabasca Basin in Saskatchewan, and that's for uranium exploration. We have a lithium project in Newfoundland, uh, which is uh, just something we picked up recently and we're very excited about. Great. Now let's talk about both of your uranium projects, which are the East Preston and Hatchet Lake located in the Athabasca Basin, Saskatchewan in Canada. Are there any strategic reasons for operating in this location and how are your peers doing there? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Uh, the Athabasca Basin is known the world over as um, a primary spot for uranium deposition. There are many working mines. One of the great things about the Athabasca Basin is the Saskatchewan government is very mining friendly. Obviously it's in Canada, so jurisdictionally it's sound and safe, uh, but also some of the highest grade uranium uh, deposits in the world have been found there, uh, anywhere up to a hundred times the world average. So really is a great spot to work. And there's a lot of ground there that is still quite prospective. Um, recent, I'd say recent within the last decade, um, exploration success has sort of um, revitalized certain areas of the basin, particularly the perimeter of the basin, which uh, wasn't necessarily the case, you know, a couple of decades ago, but that's why there are more discoveries. And uh, I think we think anyway, and others uh, aligned with us believe that the next, you know, five to 10 years, we'll see a lot more discoveries being made on the perimeter of the uh, basin. That's great. So let's dive a little bit deeper into your East Preston Uranium Project. Recently, your company has completed the 2023 drill program there. Could you tell us what's your next step in planning for it? Yes, well, we're compiling all the data now. Um, we have uh, over 600 samples at the lab in Saskatchewan. And once uh, the data is received, we'll uh, formulate the next drill program. It really is um, a methodical approach to exploration. We're, we're we're utilizing something called, uh, we're chasing alteration. So many big um, deposits have been found by utilizing this method. And uh, we're doing exactly uh, the right way to do it. Um, a couple of years ago, we ran into uh, what we call hematite alteration. The next phase for us was to run into clays, which we just did this winter. And the clays, we're really working on um, a bullseye. So the outer level of the bullseye, the outer circle of the bullseye are, is the hematite alteration. The, the next level closer to the bullseye itself is the clays. And the bullseye would represent the uh, uranium deposits or mineralization. So we're, we're following that path. And every drill hole we put in to East Preston is giving us primary data to continue to move along as we vector towards what we think is going to be impactful discovery. Sounds exciting with so much coming ahead. So let's also talk about another exciting news, which is your company has entered into a definitive property option agreement with Atlantis Battery Metals. Could you elaborate a little bit more on this? Yes, well, we've been um, um, over the years since 2017, since I got involved with Azincourt and came on board, uh, we changed the name from Azincourt Uranium to Azincourt Energy. And the reason for that is we wanted to expand into critical materials um, that are at the forefront of, of alternative energy sources. Uh, we know where, the, where things are moving ahead in the next decade or two. And there are certain materials that are going to be very high demand materials. Obviously, uranium, uh, we've, we've spoken about, but also lithium. So 2018, we had lithium projects. We ended up leaving those. There was a joint venture that, that uh, took a long time to get drill permits. So we moved on. We had some projects in Peru that were very prospective for lithium. And now we've added um, the, the projects from Atlantis Battery Metals. These are in Newfoundland. We're located just about five kilometers south of the Kraken discovery, which is quite an impactful discovery made by Sokomon and Benton Resources. Um, that's a joint venture. So we're in the right neighborhood. We've got a sizable project. And uh, the vendor, the, the optioner of the project has had tremendous success in the lithium space. They were intimately involved with the Alcam merger, which created the fourth or the fifth largest uh, lithium company in the world. So we're, we're aligned with some very good people who picked some very good projects and we're excited to get moving and working on those in the short term. Amazing. So Alex, could you also share with us a little bit about your management team? 
Right. Well, primarily it's myself uh, as CEO and president. We have uh, our vice president of exploration is a man named Trevor Perkins. Trevor has made several large uh, uranium discoveries. Um, and so he, we brought him on board a couple of years ago as he really started to gain traction at our East Preston project. We needed um, a primary geologist who had made um, impactful discovery and, and he's the man for that. So we also have two geologists on our board. Um, Paul Reynolds is uh, and has been uh, part of our team for quite some time. And Ted O'Connor uh, is also on our board. Ted was the CEO of Plateau Energy Metals, which was bought out by American Lithium. Uh, they had a huge deposit in uh, Peru. So we have some uh, very seasoned uh, gentlemen on the board and, and that know the space we're in uh, quite well. So uh, it helps us make our decisions in very methodical and well thought out ways. Fantastic. So, Alex, my last question for you is that do you think Azincourt is undervalued? If so, could you tell us why? Absolutely. Well, I mean, we have a 10 million market cap right now. We have 5 million in cash. Um, our neighbors uh, include NextGen and Arano. Those are billion dollar market caps. Uh, we're in a, a particular area there in the western Athabasca that has tremendous upside. There's been recent discoveries. So we have a 25,000 hectare project that's we've spent millions of dollars on to generate primary targets, great targets, and we're working those targets now. So um, if you believe in discovery, if you believe in exploration and, and look for the requisite check marks, um, we check a lot of boxes. We're well capitalized, uh, we're institutionally funded, uh, we've done a lot of work in drilling over the last few years, and we I think uh, at a 10 million market cap, we have a lot of room to grow. Thank you, Alex. That's all my questions for you today. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for having me.